It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very popular theory that has come up after the events of season 11, episode 4. Of course, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't watched season 11 episode 4 this will spoil some major events from that episode for you so if you haven't checked it out you probably don't want to watch this video but for those of you who have watched in this video we're going to be taking a look at whether daryl dixon will join the reapers or will he fight to destroy them from the inside so stay tuned we'll be right back with this theory All right, as always, before we jump into this, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that, let's dive right in. Now, one thing I wanna say right off the bat is that I knew I was probably going to be making this video from the moment that they teased the Reapers and the possibility that Daryl's ex, Leah, could be part of the Reapers and also when we found out that Daryl will be captured by the Reapers. So I knew that I would be making this video at some point, although I didn't know what I would say in a video like this because there wouldn't be too much to talk about. However, they did something very interesting in the episode that aired last week on AMC Premiere. Of course, I'm talking about season 11, episode four, where we saw Daryl being captured by the Reapers. They did something in that episode that connected a lot of things together and it actually made a lot of references and callbacks to the Negan and the Saviors storyline, which I think give us a great amount of clues about what Daryl is gonna do and why he decided to join the Reapers in the first place. Let's actually backtrack. Let's start from scratch. Obviously, in the last episode, we found out that one of the members of the Reapers is none other than Leah herself. Leah, of course, is Daryl's ex. She's the one that Daryl Dixon found in that cabin in the bonus episodes of season 10. And obviously, things ended between them when Daryl chose his family over Leah. And of course, when Daryl and Carol went back looking for Leah, Leah was no longer in the cabin she had disappeared in this episode we do find out that when daryl left leah rejoined with the reapers we do know that she went on a fishing expedition and that's where she found daryl and ended up in a relationship with him but it's not like she didn't know the reapers even when she found daryl she knew the reapers she was part of the reapers but she was just taking a break you could say now the next thing I want to talk about is our first callback to the Negan and the Saviors storyline. When questioned by Leah about his connection to the group that the Reapers attacked, Daryl lies to Leah and says that he knew nothing about them and that he had just ran into them within the last couple of weeks, which is obviously far from the truth. But Daryl does say something that I think was very interesting. He does tell Leah that he made the wrong decision at one point and went with the quote-unquote wrong side, which ended up getting a lot of his friends killed. Of course, referring to the war with the saviors. Now, this is where the second connection or callback comes in. So Daryl is captured, he's interrogated, and he's imprisoned. Now, this is very similar to how Negan and the saviors captured Daryl and imprisoned him and even tortured him, you could say, by playing the Easy Street song over and over again. Negan did that for one reason and one reason only, to break Daryl and turn him into a savior, much like what the Reapers intended to do by the end, and were even kind of successful at doing so. Now, Daryl didn't break back then, so why did he break this time? And the reason why I say he broke is because he told Leah that the leaders of this group are a woman, aka Maggie, a tall guy who talks too much, aka Negan, and a priest with a shotgun, aka Gabriel. That's obviously a fact, or that's very close to being a fact. Daryl didn't lie to Leah about that. He did lie to her by saying that he's not part of their group. But the fact that he told her about those three individuals and that they make the decisions 
that is him snitching on his team. Now, I repeat what I said earlier. Daryl didn't break when Negan and the Saviors captured him. So why did he break this time? And back then, like I said, there was a lot more pressure on him because he was not only put in a jail cell, but he was also being tortured by being told over and over again that he was the reason why Glenn died. At one point, Dwight even put the picture that they took from Glenn's body and put it on the wall so that Daryl could see it repeatedly. The truth of the matter is, I don't think Daryl broke this time. I think what happened is that Daryl learned from his mistake and he's not going to repeat what he did with the saviors. If you think about it, if Daryl pretended like he was a true savior when captured by Negan and the saviors, there was a possibility that he could work from the inside to defeat the saviors. Something that he might be trying to do this time around. Of course, we know Pope, the leader of the Reapers, tested Daryl Dixon. And Daryl Dixon came out of that test victorious. And by the end of the episode, he was even welcomed to the Reapers camp as one of their soldiers, one of their comrades. Now it's also very interesting, and this is another sort of callback or connection to Negan and the Savior's storyline, Pope comes across as a very intimidating, charismatic, and brutal dictator. Much like what Negan was back in his prime, back when he was still leading the Saviors. And I think this similarity between Pope and Negan is something that they will touch on more and more the deeper we get into the Reaper's storyline. Who knows, maybe they will tease at an encounter or altercation between the man himself, Negan, and Pope. Two characters who are very similar in nature, going head to head. And I think that would be an extremely interesting way to go with things. It would even be more interesting to have Negan being the one that either kills Pope himself or helps Maggie directly kill Pope, which would obviously help in building the trust between Negan and Maggie. Something else that I actually noticed in this episode that I found was very interesting, this is another callback to the Negan and the Saviors storyline, the way that Daryl looks at Pope in this particular shot, which was near the end of the episode, is very similar to the way that he was looking at Negan when Negan was trying to break him back in season 7. He was looking down and it looked like he was intimidated. You could see there's a lot of similarities. Daryl is not making eye contact with who he's looking at. Now what's very very interesting is that by the end of the episode, right after Daryl witnesses what Pope does to one of his own guys, burning them in the pit fire, Daryl is now making eye contact with Pope. And I think this is a sign that Daryl has made up his mind. He's not going to go down the same road. He's not going to be a prisoner. And I think this is the moment where Daryl decides, I'm going to work from the inside to destroy this group and this place. Where is Leah going to be at in this story? This is where they could do something very interesting and have Daryl either have to kill Leah because she is an obstacle or have Leah switch sides and help Daryl Dixon. Any direction that they go with that would be very, very interesting. It would be even more interesting to have Leah switch sides and end up sacrificing herself to save Daryl and the others. But if they don't do that part, even having her switch sides, I think would be sort of interesting. A little underwhelming, but still interesting. But with that said, there's another way, one way that I think would be super interesting. And that's having Negan, Daryl, and Maggie collaborating in taking down this group. And I think that's the more, not necessarily obvious, but more rewarding direction for them to go with things. But I'm definitely extremely interested to know everyone's thoughts and opinions about this. Do you think Daryl is truly a Reaper or do you think he's playing a game? And also, do you agree with what I said about Daryl having learned from his mistakes and not wanting to repeat the same mistakes he did 
when he was captured by Negan and the Saviors. So share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video, see you next time for another super video.